<laughs> it was our senior year when Carly called me and told me she had met someone. His name was Ryan. He played soccer, but he was younger by one year. They had gone on a first date to Chili's and things were going really, really well. <laughs> I don't remember when Ryan and I officially met, but I do remember feeling like I might be a little too much for him. He was really quiet and reserved and very polite, but then I realized he was actually very sarcastic and just dishing out one-liners. Ryan became like family and always welcomed me with open arms, even on the trip Emily and I took out to San Francisco when they have been living there together less than two months. Carly, I know we had a brief moment where we thought we were going to marry the singers of the next Blink-182, or I was going to marry Tyler, <laughs> but <laughs> I have to say, Ryan is truly an upgrade from those dreams. I feel so lucky <laughs> to have you guys both let me speak at your second wedding, and congratulations. You know, Carrie and I, over the last year, everyone struggled, right, with the pandemic, figuring out what we're going to do. There's been struggles for everyone, but uh, 
That last year has really fortified our belief that what makes a life fulfilled and happy is really the shared experiences you have with your family and with your friends. So tonight we want you to share in that experience because those experiences end up being the lifetime memories that we all go back to. Carly, when you, <clears throat> when you married Ryan, you became a part of the Stone family. But we both know you've been a part of our family for many years. And Anna and I, Stephen, Kevin, and Sarah have always welcomed you with open arms. Just as Ryan has become a second son to David and Carrie, you are our second daughter. And our family has become better because you joined us. Ryan, I'm so proud of the man you've become. When you married Carly, you also became a member of the Tisha family. And like Carly with our family, I'm sure you'll fit in well. Our families are very similar in the love, caring, and support that they have for one another. They have already showed their acceptance of you. <clears throat> Hell, they took you all the way to the Italy just so you would propose to their Carly. Over the years, the sibling rivalry, uh, it gave way, at least on my end, to pride and admiration for Ryan. Uh, the things he's accomplished in school and sports and life, landing a great wife in Carly. Uh, I couldn't be more proud of the determination he shows on a regular basis uh, to perfect his craft, whatever it may be. Um, <clears throat> I brag on him every time I have the chance, and although we don't get to see each other as much as we'd like, every time we see each other, it's like we pick up right where we left off. I've thoroughly enjoyed witnessing Ryan grow up into an admirable young man, and I can't think of a better life partner than Carly. Uh. The two of them, the new stones, constantly push, to, uh, push, push each other to new heights that I'm not sure they could make on their own. Um, Carly's drive is matched only by Ryan's, and together they have put together quite the journey. Carly, our family is blessed beyond words to have you as a part of it. I couldn't dream of a better person to make me a brother-in-law for the first time. <clears throat> I'd like to make a toast to two enthusiastic, determined individuals who have come so far in their journey together, a journey which truly has just only begun. I, for one, cannot wait to bear witness to this journey going forward. And I love you guys. Over the years, I've constantly turned to Ryan and Carly for advice, relationship advice, because I have admired their relationship from the very start. I have thought how strong and how beautiful of a relationship it has been. Now, that's something that I truly, truly value, and I see that Ryan and Carly both value it together. Now, if you'll please join me in raising a glass for the not so newlyweds. <laughs> Cheers to you, Ryan and Carly Stone. My roots up in yellow light, your voice in the summer night. Three lamps dance along to every word you sing, just flickering. Tell me how long does it take for two hearts to find the same place? So oh, five years that we've been friends tonight, it's something different. Can't you see it? Can't you see we are poetry?
Look up to the tallest trees You whisper in the dark to me I can barely hear you from the fireworks we're creating Tell me all your secrets, love I'll tell you what I'm running from Straight on to morning Calls us home and blurs the stars above Can't you see it? Can't you see we are poetry?